Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And as you can see, I've got a big binder here in front of me. And for the regular visitors of the channel, you probably know what this is about. This is about my collection, one of my collections. And in this video, I want to share with you a special moment because I've managed to complete a full play set of every card of Fallen Empires, including the artwork. And uh, it's been quite a journey. If you've been following me on Instagram, you've probably have seen an occasional update with pictures from these binders showing my Fallen Empires collection. I'm also working on a revised collection that's almost complete as well. I just, I kind of like collecting. Maybe it's nice to know a little bit about the background. It used to be quite normal. Remember, it's also, Magic is also a collectible card game. And of course now with the internet where you can just get every single you need, there's no need to really finish a set. But the nice thing is when you have a set finished, you can see the whole journey, the whole story. You can see how the set is kind of designed, um, you know, all the different aspects of the set. I find it really interesting. And Fallen Empires for me, I've always had a, had a weak spot because when I started playing, people would give me their Fallen Empire cards. And, uh, you know, I didn't have a lot of money as a kid. I was like 11 or 12. Um, so I tried to build decks with Fallen Empires. I can, <laughs> I can tell you, I got beat a lot. So anyway, this is the last card. So I'm going to add it right now. I'm first going to show it to you. This is my last, last card that I needed. Uh, let me see. In the collection, a Dwarven Armorer. So it's a pretty cool card. I believe it's, it's is it reserve list? I think so. I don't really know. But uh, I believe so. It's one red, uh, summon dwarf, uh, one red and tap. Discard a card from your hand to put either plus O plus one or a plus one plus O counter on target creature. And I've actually used this in a dwarven deck uh, to kind of change my uh, leftover lands into counters. So it, it was useful, useful. Although I have to say with a dwarven lieutenant, you don't have a lot of um, scenarios where you've got leftover lands, but still, you know, it was, it, it was, it was handy. You can also do it as an instant to kind of save a creature, you know, with an extra point of defense as well, or the other way around, kill your opponent or a creature with an extra point of uh, power. So it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a better card than you might think it is. So I'm just going to open my binder here. Um, and here you can see, you know, one of these pages completely full, but I'm just going to skip all the way to the back where we've got all the dwarves. Look at that. Here we've got all the dwarves. Just gonna move it a little bit. Uh, oh, gotta go the other way actually. Gonna move it here and here we see the dwarven armors and there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The last of the last. <laughs> Woo Look at that beautiful page of complete dwarves. And um, what I'm actually going to do now, and you know, feel free to stick around if you want to, I'm just going to go through just the entire set. It's actually two binders. I've got another binder right here. Um, because Fallen Empires has a lot of different art. So I've tried to collect four of each type of art as well. And, and you can you can kind of, you can see that here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go flick through the pages, and I'm going to show you all the uh, all the Fallen Empire cards. I'm going to add a little music to that. So if you enjoy Fallen Empires, make sure to stick around because uh, let's go. Let's take a look at my complete Fallen Empire set.
this is it. This is the entire set of Fallen Empire. So we've got some other old school here, something dark. Maybe I'll make a video about that later. As you can see, it's not yet complete. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I am really happy and thrilled to finally have finished this project. I really enjoy Fallen Empires and uh, I will probably be taking out cards out of this uh, binder a lot because I also enjoy brewing with it. Um, so really just a great, great experience. Maybe a, a fun thing to note is that what we used to do is like add little things to the cards to make them a little bit more playable. For example, this is an Orcish Pie, right? And look at the top three cards of Target Player's Library and return them in any order. So we would just change that so the card would be a little bit better and more playable. And uh, we actually allowed it back in the day, especially when I played, because I always had kind of, you know, <clears throat> bad cards. So they were like, okay, you know you know what? You know, go ahead, you, here's a pen, be creative. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is my collection, thank you. Uh, for watching another video right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And if you want to support the channel, like always, uh, you can subscribe, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, click that notification bell, all that stuff helps. Uh, you can also become a uh, supporter through Patreon of the channel by becoming a sponsor so you can become a patron. There's probably a link popping up right now. Click on that link and that will show you exactly uh, how you can support the channel. It already starts with $1 a month. So if you can um, miss a little bit, and if you enjoy the content that I make, you can help me continue with making that content for you. Um, you know what, let's go to the end scroll. Let's take a look at our amazing and fantastic and gorgeous and beautiful channel members and patrons of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ich kann das Ficket zu Sumba gesehen.